In order to get the articulator to work in the skull, we're going to parent these teeth to the lower jaw and then continue exactly like we do in the model designer. So the upper is called target and the lower one is called the posing. And then I'm going to put a few points where the points of rotation are in the condyles and I'm going to be placing them at the corners of the nose and then following that we're going to click on a line and then we'll flip it over on the x-axis twice and once on the z-axis and then I'll rotate and just fine-tune it a little bit Now that it's in the center of the workspace, we go to articulator and name the top upper and the mandible lower. I will unparent these teeth and then we can bring in the condyles. Here I'm going to move them down and across a little bit. And then view it from the side and accept it. Now they are almost in a good location. I've set the inclination of the condyle and when we hide this we can sort of see how the uh, uh, TMJ eminence is and then we can also change the angle. Now this is set at 15 degrees which seems rather good because it follows the long axis of the mandible. Here we can change that accordingly but we're going to leave this at 33 degrees and then we're going to we can move to the other side. We're going to copy this, uh, these rotations to the white condyle and this seems quite good. I will reposition the condyles a little bit to the right hand side. That's good. Next we're going to move to the constraints and set the open. We're going to open up the bite. Everything with the articulator follows these arrow objects. So this is the opening and we have an incisal pin like an articulator and when we click, when we adjust the jaw by one degree the incisal pin will open by two millimeters. These spheres are all two millimeters apart. If we open it up more we can open up as much as we like and then at two millimeter two degrees it'll be four millimeters open we're going to link the lower to the, the lower teeth to the animation to the lower jaw by clicking on the link objects to animation these are the keyframes and make sure you are number five keyframe when you are opening it. So zero keyframe is always where the jaw is in centric relation. So we're going to open up the jaw. You can use the slider and you can note how it pivots along the, the x-axis. So for example, if we're making a splint, we would have to look at the distance of the last molars and we've got a thickness map where you can simply look at the thickness. So here the red zone is two millimeters and by using the slider, we can determine exactly how far away the molar is. So at this, it's 1.3 millimeters away, which is a little bit thin for a for a splint if you're making a splint for example. So we can measure the distance between the two arches. 
So if we hypothetically would want to open it further the jaw, we will exit this object and then we will set the degrees to something else, say three, three degrees, which is six millimeters open on the articulator. And then we can view the, the distance one more time. And that seems to be two millimeters in the posterior section. Next, let us apply the keyframe and you'll see these orange marks, which means the keyframe has been set from zero to number five. And we're gonna set the protrusive. Note how the, the lower jaw moves down in the exact angle that we have set earlier on at 33 degrees. Here we can open the the jaw and we can make it slide forward or we can close the jaw slightly. We are, so we are very flexible in what we are doing. Now a keyframe has been set and we can play the animation. We, I've clicked on the right excursive movement and using the slider where the um, only adjust where the locks are not highlighted. So we, we've adjusted the jaw moving to the right hand side and we've opened it a bit. Here the Bennett side shift, I'm going to put in minus one millimeter. So when the jaw moves, it also moves across the Bennett side shift as well. We're going to do the same to the other side. position the jaw accordingly. Here we can view all of the animations. And the articulator has a shortcut key which is Control X where we can call up the articulator at any time we like. Thanks guys for watching.